dying matters for me because um, it's part of living. Um, I did a presentation some time ago where I made the observation that shortly after I was born, I started to die. And I think the sooner people realize that, the better. We tend to cut ourselves off from the reality of dying. It's all part of life's spectrum. That sounds a little contradictory, but it's not really true. We will all die at the end. And so, if we've got any sense, we start thinking about it sooner rather than later. It came as a reality to me when I was diagnosed with Lewy body dementia some 10 years ago. I say to people that six months after diagnosis, I suddenly had what I call my resurrection. I suddenly realized that I was fallible, that I was going to die. I didn't know when. The doctor had told me it was going to be in the next six years. But I made a positive decision that I was going to work hard and try and put it off. But I realized at that time, whatever will be, will be. And when my time comes, it comes. Ten years later, I'm still doing this, talking to you today through the eye of this lens. That said, um, dying is a reality to me, and I'm totally reconciled to the fact. I've considered it in great detail. I've considered what will happen, what I need to do. I've done a will, for instance. I think that's absolutely essential, saying what you want your financial assets, how you want them disposed. I did an enduring power of attorney long before the Mental Capacity Act came out to ensure that my wishes, insofar as I could predict them, would be followed when I lost my ability to operate and think for myself. It's very clear. It says that I want my wife to act for me and failing that, my daughters individually and collectively to act in my best interests. I also have an advanced directive, and this specifies some of the things that I really like and some of the things I totally dislike. To give you an example, one of the things I totally dislike is being plunged into the bath. Not that I'm a dirty devil, quite the contrary, I shower every morning, but I love to shower. I hate going in the bath. So when I lose my capacity, I want people to know that I need to be showered and not bathed. Very, very important. I don't want to watch television all day. I want to listen to music. I want to do other things. Whether or not I appreciate them is neither here nor there. Those are my wishes at the moment. So my advanced directive covers that. Then in addition to all of that, there are certain things I don't want to happen to me when I reach my final uh, period of life. I don't want certain interventions to take place. And I'm quite specific about those. I don't want to be forcibly fed. I don't want to be pegged. That is, I don't want to be fed through tubes into my stomach or by any other means. I don't want to be unnecessarily resuscitated. I'm not interested in euthanasia. I think that's wrong. I can't ask anybody, anybody at all, to put an end to my life. So assisted dying is out. Euthanasia is totally out. But if I'm going to die, I want to die naturally. I don't want my life to be perpetuated just for the sake of it. If it's just for a few hours, that's not important. And those wishes I expect to be honored by my family. And I've gone one stage further. And that is to say to people that they can use any part of my body after my death, and I've donated my brain to a brain bank in Manchester. I think that's the least I can do, because I go around talking about dementia, what it's all about. And I want to know that when my life comes to an end, then at least the bits that are left are used in a profitable and useful manner.